Welcome back! Woo! What should you be charging? High ticket, low ticket? Big question, isn't it? So if you don't know, just in case you don't know, I talk about freedom businesses. Digital educational business that offer digital products services digital physical you can have a physical shop selling physical business and still apply what i am teaching here the point is it's a hybrid business structure where you as an expert sell education as well you can have a focus on education you can have a focus on offering a service the point here is you want to sell digital products and digitally delivered services okay got it so for example you can have a by the way do you like the new lighting <laughs> whatever you can have an e-commerce selling or a physical shop like i do physical shop with an e-commerce with a website where your clients can buy and you can sell your digital products in order to increase the amount of the average ticket that your client is spending with you so they come back and there is there are strategies for that so now what this video is about this is solely to give you an idea of what the role of the low ticket can have in your business as well of as well as the high ticket offer continuing with the example of an e-commerce not only you can sell your physical business uh, your physical products but do not sell your physical business just yet okay do an evaluation at least, a proper, a few. But you can have digital products to support the experience your client has with you. So they spend more time with you. You can also be a service provider in the real world and offer a service online offer the digital products the point here is to give you more freedom is to be more selective of who you work with and we're gonna get there at the end of the video i'm gonna talk about the selective the elegant business model which isn't just luxury you can have however you want your branding to be you can have an archetype which is not something i'm going to explore in any of my free content okay spoilers you can have a more fun archetype that has no absolutely no illusion to luxury and still sell high ticket People think the high ticket is not for their niche, it's not for them because of lack of positioning. So the hybrid business model that we are gonna explore here, which is a great thing for all niches, is that you understand the low ticket requires high volume and high ticket requires low volume. Not that it doesn't require low volume, but by default, it will be low volume because you are putting your own time and presence into the high ticket. So they become an exclusive, a bespoke, a more personalized delivery. So you charge more, you deliver more, and you deliver specifically to your client's needs. But the important thing here is that you are willing to invest your time, your money, not only on educating yourself, but also on developing the structure needed. The amount of structures that I see out there that make 
no sense that people charging for services in a low ticket with a very scuffed approach getting clients from hell and it's not the client's fault it is the service provider's fault because they are not doing anything exactly exclusive they think they are just because they are offering a service but their entire structure is lacking systems is lacking processes methods and they are giving that all out for low ticket it's insane that structure makes no sense and if you want to learn how to get out of it stick with me because trust me <laughs> i've been there <laughs> many times over when i was younger so not only in educating yourself you will be spending your time and your money but also in your infra infrastructure in that decade of running my own businesses both the physical and the service-based business the digitally served service business <laughs> i have learned the value and i'm making it like this with my hand you just couldn't see it I've learned the value of infrastructure, of organization, of systems in order to keep not only myself sane while I'm working, but also be more selective. But let's talk about more the low and the high ticket. So it's a mix of both strategies. You're going to have, because it is a strategy, it is a cost, it's part of your cost structure strategy. So you're going to have your low ticket offers and i'm going to explain how and your high ticket offers as well a few things that you need to well that i have to make clearer for you is that your low ticket clients do not have direct access to your brain there's no brain picking i'm going to explain why and i know this might sound like oh i don't like the way that you're talking Ooh. Do you run a business? But the, hey, if you offer a service, if you are hired by an employer, so for example, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, uh, can say that hairdresser, the dyslexia hit me so hard right now. If you are a hairdresser and you work at a saloon, you are gaining, you're gaining your your income, your monthly income is paid by your employer, which means. This is, yes, a income stream, but it's not part of your strategy here. Put that aside. Separate it. Okay, this is different. It's different as well if you are the owner of that saloon, of that service providing place where you are delegating the execution of those services that's who i'm talking to if you are a hairdresser but you want to build an audience you want to sell your own services separately from what you do any own digital products then sure stick around and here is a harsh truth the low ticket clients that you have they are going to be a pain in the ass. People value what they pay for. If they don't pay a lot for it, guess what? But they, a lot, of course, has a different meaning to people. Okay? But you're going to talk to people and you're gonna build that meaning through your branding. So it is a high ticket, a low ticket, plus branding type of structure, type of situation here. So you will need to build your own brand for this to work because we need leadership, okay? But we are gonna get there. So low ticket clients, they want more for less. And that's why you remove yourself from that delivery. So you sell your high, your low ticket, digital 
products or one too many products in volume you are gonna do that in volume so your books your ebooks your sure your physical products as well can be considered low ticket most of them your courses your methods your group mentorings which is already putting people at a journey where they are able to sit on your table you have to think of your high ticket offers as an access to you meaning you will have less one-on-one clients because if you think of it as a funnel where people come in in volume they go through the structure they think maybe it's not for them and some of them will apply themselves to a point where they can indeed be on a one-on-one with you you will have less clients you might have even a lay uh english you might even have a wait list of people waiting to work with you and this is where the one to many high ticket offers can be very fruitful as long as they are very exclusive and you are delivering a lot because if you are charging a lot your delivery needs to be as high as you are charging you have to match the value of course and it's become a ritual in this channel for me to talk about the first video that i created that i posted here which is about the product funnel or the product belt which is how i explain how that little staircase of products works so you can go back there it's probably gonna show up in here somewhere you can go back there you watch that you study it and everything else i post here do a pagani flix okay do like binge watch everything that i've posted so far which this is the seventh video in the channel is not that much so you are in luck if you are here now because you are following as I post high low ticket business structure isn't about a full schedule okay it isn't about having a lot of clients it's not about having a huge audience you don't need to be famous I hate that word but you don't need to be famous to sell high ticket or to have this structure you know I've been selling high ticket in the offline for 15 years jewelry <laughs> the jewelry business then my design business then my strategy business then this now which is also strategy and design in a way I've been doing that for the longest time without the internet for half of it why can't you remember there's a world outside of Instagram outside of YouTube <laughs> very valuable to be omni-channel do not forget it if you are in the physical go into the digital if you're only on the digital go to the physical use both you also don't need to create heaps of content you don't need to create 60 pieces of content a week but your content need needs to be very well targeted and segmented so this is where we start looking at the structure and i have videos about this as well like i said go do your pagani flicks go enjoy all of the the stuff that we have here already and when it comes to influx of clients because you need clients you test out a few low ticket offers and you put that on automation with ads eventually okay so you need to build those structures and systems it is about it isn't about the volume of audience but that helps always in the end you want that renovation you will need that renovation so people stay with you for longer and you have newer people coming along as well but in the start that's not the most important thing i would be 
lying to you if having a large and targeted audience very well segmented audience we're gonna go to select that select thing the elegant thing very soon i would be lying to you if i said that these two things weren't important volume and quality it is not about just the volume i'd rather have the quality than the volume or the volume and the quality never just the volume okay and because it's a funnel it is natural that there will be less people i already talked about this but just to reinforce there will be less people in the end of that funnel even though we do want everyone to succeed but people have their own reasons maybe they don't really go along with the way that you teach maybe they find they relate better to how someone else solves that problem and that's part of the elegant business model that selection that positioning the branding helps you with that your narrative also helps you with that so since we talked about branding and positioning selling high ticket and this hybrid system it is about leadership it is about the structure being a leader means having things as together as possible i've never done air quotes like this as together as possible nobody has everything together i might seem like i do but i don't i'm always working on everything <laughs> but it is about leadership you are not your audience's friend you are not here to please the entirety of the internet it is a lot easier to please someone when you are on a one-on-one setting, one on one on one, one or two, one to two people than it is. If I'm sitting on the dinner table with two people in front of me, it's a lot easier to be pleasant to these two people. But if I am in a room, much less on the internet, with a hundred, with thousand people watching me, at some point there's gonna be something you know the lighting is gonna irritate someone even though that is the most trivial thing in this video what I'm saying might not please some people they they want to do volume high vo high volume low ticket forever that's their choice I'm not here to talk to them and a lot of times when you are your audience's friend, you are not doing what's best for them. You are just, yes, don't do what's needed. Go eat all the calories. Go. Nobody cares if, you, if I was a nutritionist. <laughs> so the word elegant comes from the Latin elegans, or however it's pronounced. Then I'm reading my notes here, which is to select, to elect and i'm doing like this with my hands but you can see it <laughs> i need to place my camera a bit lower whatever uh elegant is to learn to select and to say no so your positioning is elegant it is, has this has nothing to do with premium branding with ha with luxury branding I'm talking about positioning. I'm talking about how you're going to attract the ideal clients. Oh, the high ticket. Oh, I got even excited. The high ticket offer that you have is your ideal client's last stop. It's their destination with you. Oof. Did you catch that? Can you taste the DNA? I tasted it. That was sweet. Oh, that needs to go to YouTube. Oh, to Instagram. But of course, with the high ticket part of the strategy, you're gonna have this flavor of premium, of exclusive to it. But it's not luxurious. Remember that. So for example, my digital passport mentoring isn't isn't for everyone i want people that have made 
at least 20k with their services and they of course need to have the offer value in their hand but that's just one of the selection process what is the requirements that's the word i want that's one just that's just one of the requirements of the selection process that they need to have there are other things that i'm going to analyze that maybe i'll ask them i go to them and then hey tell me more about this let's see if we are a fit because i'm not gonna spend 12 hours with that person if they are not ready for it and that's the problem when you sell a high ticket as a low ticket because you work with people that are not ready to your branding service they shouldn't be thinking about branding they should be selling their product in order to build to a point where the branding will be relevant and you as an expert should be selling them instead of branding course that they can bootstrap themselves instead of wanting everything to be perfect from the start so you gotta be smart about this so the high ticket in this model is the end of the line for your ideal client the people that stick with you through that entire journey are your ideal clients and these are the people you have to work with these are the people that you need to speak to because the people that want to become your ideal client they will what's the word relate to it i'm bad at wording today they're going to relate to that ideal person that they see because you've worked with them and you're showing them off you're showing the social proof maybe you're even asking them to go on live streams with you okay i still don't do that i should not everyone is comfortable in sitting on live streams and i respect that but people in your audience will look at that ideal client and be like i want to be like that so through that narrative and through showing your ideal client through your social proof a lot of throughs here you will sort of naturally select the people that end up sticking with you your offers they are tools i always say that a product is a strategic tool not just for cash but you can test myriad of things i'm not going to talk about them now through product launches what you launch to what go back to that video what you launch how you format it and how you price it so the offer the format and the pricing they're all elements and also the actual way that you present the content well the formatting the delivery they are all strategic tools you have to think of your product as a strategic tools boy i want to get into this but this will be a huge tangent do not do it keep it simple so the infinite product method when i launch it's very close to launching that will prepare people, polish people to get even closer to the digital passport, to the mentoring, where we will refine their structure, their systems, build really, have me build their product belt, correct what needs to correct, polish all those corners, and design a launch strategy for them to one of the products that we decide to get do not overcomplicate this structure your low ticket offers are designed for people to apply the transformation on themselves so do not overcomplicate the product and what you will find out is that one product that solves a punctual issue will generate a need for another one example i'm teaching how to be build the product belt with the infinite product method i go through all the strategies i go through 
all the formats, but I won't teach launch strategies. I won't teach copywriting. I won't teach so many other things, but that need will be there because if I try to teach too much, I will overwhelm people. The quality of the work will go down. They are going to get paralyzed by the information. They won't be able to execute. They will overcomplicate their delivery. It's just going to be horrible. Okay, so one low ticket, punctual solution, one product, one format. High ticket is where you will polish the result you will give a more exclusive and personalized delivery with a low ticket you deliver what they need but you package in a way that is how they want to buy people want to buy shortcuts people want to buy easy way out of things and it's never i don't believe that will it will ever be an easy way out of anything but you get to simplify the advanced and the way you offer you build your offer needs to have that little taste of mm, this seems possible not exactly a shortcut but it seems possible it's uh, plausible it seems feasible it can happen so you trick the brain into making it into a shotgun have a mix of three to five products to start with build them slowly if you already have a service that's the end of the line so readjust your entire offer structure and when you go back and you watch that video on the product belt, remember that takes time to build. Do not worry about building everything at once, okay? And even I don't have all the products out there. But have the mix of the products that you know you have to build and build them. Test them. Try them out. Have your high ticket offer running because you're gonna need to sell to people who are ready right you're gonna need to sell somehow and then build the low ticket to bring people closer the people that are not yet the ideal clients closer to be your ideal client you know what i'm gonna tell you like subscribe share this with people so that youtube delivers you know don't keep this to yourself overflow to other people overflow to people that need to hear this 